so tell me, um, how are you feeling about the next set of shorts of the African Psychologies Edition 2? Yeah, this is Edition 2. I'm, I'm really excited about, about this year. So last year we started, you know, uh, with the basics, basically. Asking people what, uh, what uh, they think, how they define African Psychology. This year we take it a little further. We want to ask them about their work and how they locate it within the broader rubric of of African psychology and then compare it with American psychology or Western psychology or Western European psychology. Other people call it Euro-American psychology. Looking forward to that. Yeah. What's interesting though about this year is that last year we had been at the Pan-African Psychology Congress, yeah, yeah. which means right. that it we spoke to people who are already thinking yeah. about African psychology. Right, 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 right. So this year right, we are right. at SISA, which is the Right. Psychology Con Congress of South Africa. And many people might not be, th be thinking, about, thinking about about African, about, African so psychology. It's going to be interesting, you know, what, what what we hear about. Isn't it funny though that that South African psychologists, practitioners, and researchers, and students don't think of what they do as African psychology? Well, this is my view, right? That everybody does African psychology or psychology in Africa, and within that, they you know you position yourself. What kind? Of African psychology doing, but isn't it isn't it strange to you? I mean, as a student, you've been thinking about this. Yeah, it is strange, but the thing is that we hadn't been taught to think like that. Right, see, right, right. I I did my undergrad, I did my masters, I worked a bit, I'm mm -hmm. back now, right. and I'm still da 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 full time, and yeah. I and and we can't we can't penalize anybody on that. Oh, but we are not penalizing. We just say. It's a, it's a it's a curious thing. Yeah, I think it's part of part of coloniality, part of apartheid and, and, and racism. But what are you looking forward to hearing? What what uh, in in these shorts? The projects that people right. are doing, mm -hmm. you know, what what their work is, and um, stemming from the conversation that we had yeah. in the morning yesterday morning. We asked who has time for African psychology. Yes, 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 that went well, didn't it? It, yeah. did, it went very well. Well done, well done yeah, to you yeah. and your colleagues. Yeah. Very, very well done. <laughs> um, yeah. So today I listened to two talks. Mm. I was in the African Society of Colonology Jazz Amsterdam room this morning. And by the way, let me say this. I don't like this thing that you have an African psychologist dream within the South African Psychology Conference. But hey, yo, go ahead. It is exactly because yeah, yeah. we hadn't been conditioned to think of a psychology in Africa as an African psychology. Yeah, yeah. We had been we, we have been conditioned to, to, to think that it is a different kind of psychology. Right, right. So it's gonna be interesting to to hear now um, how people understand yeah. th their work to be. Yeah, yeah. And and then the future. I'm also looking to, to hear what people are thinking about the future of this thing called African psychology, which is really the whole thing about... And uh, how they are practicing it. Yeah, yeah, what the kinds of experiments, quote-unquote, that they're doing. So it's going to be a great, a great uh, congress and the shorts. It's going to be fantastic. So watch, whoever you are, watch yeah. and subscribe. And tell us what you think. Yeah, right. thank you.